Greetings and welcome to the Wix Online meeting number three. It's kind of surprising to think that we've only done three of these so far, but we had a two-week gap given the U.S. Labor Day and then also the outage, the Wix toolset outage, which we'll talk about in a minute. So anyway, welcome to all of you that are here now and all of you that watch this later. Let's see, so what are we going to talk about? I want to talk about that outage that took us out last week and kind of what happened and um, exactly what happened and you know, what we did around it and what we were thinking while it all went along. Um, the, we tried to give information to the Twitter account, but I do think it probably could have done a little better uh, getting information out. But anyway, I just want to go through that. And then uh, Bob has an update about the Wix 3.8 since he's written about that. And then we'll get into triage since we have plenty and plenty to triage. So here we go. Unless anybody has anything they want to add, go ahead and add them in the IM window there if you want to have something, and we'll talk about that at the end. But moving right into the Wix website outage. So what happened was on Sunday, uh, September 8th, the RAID controller on the machine that, hose it, that hosts the Wix toolset.org uh, failed. It just disappeared. All of the drives went kablooey. Um, we're happen to be on a, a, a large hoster right now, which means there are many websites hosted on our same site. So it was a very large drive that they lost. And so the ISP, once they diagnosed the issue, uh, contacted the RAID controller's uh, provider and said, hey, what went wrong? And at the same time, they started a full system backup, which is going to take like three or four days to complete. Um, it took me a little bit to realize that I had all the websites. So uh, once I figured that out, I was like, oh, I can get at least get the static website back up. So I reposted the, the static website to another provider and pointed the DNS stuff to that by, I guess it was Tuesday. Um, and so we at least had a website back instead of people telling us the Wix website was down. I had some people go as far as to say the Wix website um, must never be coming back again, which I thought was a little bit overstating the problem. Yes, we lost our machine but we knew it was coming back. The reason I was holding off on doing significant juggling and everything was that the ISP thought they had decent odds of getting the recovery. If not, the full system backup, which would have taken us back four weeks in data, which we would have lost all of our triage at that point, um, but at least we would have had a lot of the bugs and stuff like that. And I had a backup of the database from two weeks before that. So I knew we would have been generally OK but I wanted to see if the entire uh, issues database would come back because I didn't want to lose all the work we had. And since they seemed you know, like, ah, they might be able to recover it, I was willing to wait until Friday. Because uh, if I brought the issues database online, then we would have done some recovery where people would add added new issues, then we need to bring the backup back, they'd lose those issues that we had during the thing, so I'd have to like merge, and the issue numbers would all move around. So it just was a big mess. So instead, we just kind of held tight. Um, and then by Friday night, uh, 9.13, turns out the RAID provider found a bug in the software. So it turns out the hardware was all fine. Disks had not been shredded, uh, fire had not erupted, or none of that exciting things. It was a software bug. They provided a software fix, and poof, the machine was back just like it had always been. And so we had full data recovery from 9.8. So it turns out that the bet holding off for the Wix website to come back uh, was a good one. All I did was repoint the DNSs back to the old server, and everything's running fine. Um, so looking forward, uh, always kind of knew we were on this bulk ISP. It's kind of, you know, you're always kind of at risk at these kinds of things, being on lots of stuff. So uh, we are investigating uh, moving to something bigger uh, or something more stable. Honestly, we're looking at moving to Azure. Um, at Fire Giant, we're doing some things with um, Azure. And so we're looking at consolidating all of our very many properties that Fire Giant is um, currently funding and hosting paying for the hosting everywhere, probably into a central place in Azure. To do that, we have to fix some things. For example, the issue tracker doesn't quite work right um, on Azure. You need to do some bug fixes, stuff like that. But we, after looking at this, living through this issue and having seen what um, happens on Azure, it looks like the outages on Azure are far uh, less, at least when they forget their SSL, they go down for only a little while versus the five days and stuff like that. So um, we're probably going to look at a move and things like that. Uh, that will be invisible to anybody on the outside. Uh, it'll just like when I brought the new Wix website up, it just came back because DNS moved. So we'll make sure all the data moves and things like that. Um, so anyway, we're aware. Um, on the funny side, we did get you know reimbursed for three months of free hosting at this hoster due to the weak outage. So if we move, I guess we don't get to take advantage of the three months. So um, <laughs> anyway, we're not moving right now. We probably won't move 
soon, not in the next month or two. Um, the ISP is being very, um, very accommodating to all the people that had issues and things like that. So we'll see where it goes from here. Unless we have another major issue with them, uh, where I'm hoping to just kind of hold tight and then uh, we'll figure out um, how we consolidate things in that. Um, so there we go. That was the Wix website outage. Um, if you have questions, go ahead. We'll add them into the questions section. Um, in the meantime, let's get on to something more pressing, Wix 3.8. So if you haven't read um, uh, Bob's blog post, you should. He lays out kind of where things are at and what he's planning for Wix 3.8. But since we happen to have access to Bob here, um, I thought I'd give him a chance to take the floor and uh, say whatever he wanted to say based off of whatever his blog entry was. So, Bob, the floor is yours. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I, I won't, you know, recap the, the blog post much. Y'all can read. Um, the Basically, for th for 3.8, well, for, for the entire Wix 3X series, we have, you know, different reasons we can ship. Um, you know, we could do something where we, we just, you know, ship every six months or every four months or whatever, just fix whatever bugs we're going to fix, do whatever features, and when the, the time comes, we ship. Um, but for 3.8 and probably many releases in the future, we also have another forcing function, um, and that's our platform support. Uh, primarily Visual Studio uh, used to be that Windows was also a forcing function. You know, there'd be some new features in MSI that we'd, we'd have to adapt um, in the compiler and, and linker to support. Uh, for better or for worse, Windows has not really touched MSI since Windows 7, uh, so there's there's nothing to do there. Visual Studio, however, does require some amount of work. Um, some of it's you know fairly straightforward. Um, you know, we have to uh, support Visual Studio 2013 this time in the uh, libraries, the native libraries that, that we support. Um, we have to support whatever version of .NET comes with that version of Visual Studio. Happens to be 4.5.1 this time um, in our managed stuff. Um, and the bigger chunk is votive. Uh, right now, there is no votive in Visual Studio 2013. Uh, it's already, uh, Visual Studio 2013 has already been out in a preview release, and the RC release uh, came out a couple weeks ago. Um, and these are all go live licensed, which means Microsoft is saying, yeah, yeah, they're good enough. Go ahead, start using them. So we've had you know, publicly and, and off a list, we've had people saying, hey, how do we, you know, start using Wix with Visual, Visual Studio 2013? And right now the answer is you don't. Um, based on the timing, with Visual Studio uh, coming out October 18th and its RTM release, um, in my blog post I laid it out, I think we should target the end of the year, no later than the end of the year, ideally, as a release date for Wix 3.8 supporting Visual Studio 2013. Um, it's still a couple months after Visual Studio ships, which is less than ideal. Um, but you know, it's we're we're now into late September, approaching late September. It's almost fall, officially, and there's just not a lot of time. Um, to do much else. So for Wix 3.8, my proposal and this meeting and, and emails on Wix devs and whatnot go into it. My proposal is we should focus on Visual Studio 2013 support, fixing only critical bugs that aren't related to that, um, and probably not doing much else in the way of feature work. Our features for Wix 3.8 should be Visual Studio 2013. Um, even with just that, this could still be a really, really aggressive schedule. Um, 
I'm not, I'm not a votive expert. Um, I actually used to work on the Visual Studio SDK team, but my was that a long time ago. Um, and I don't have uh, recent experience and none really in votive itself. So I'm, I'm, I'll do it, you know, I will work through the, the issues and I've already started to do that, but it's probably going to be slow going and I don't have huge amounts of uh, spare time to work on it. Uh, so I suspect that this will be, um, we'll, we'll be very lucky. I don't have high confidence. Let me put it to you that way. I don't have high confidence that we're going to hit the dates that I outlined. Um, maybe we'll be lucky. I'm, I'm hoping for the luck. Um, but anything else beyond that, uh, if it goes into 3.8, it's got to come from from other contributors. Right now, I'm the only one from the Wix team who's focused on, on Wix 3.8. Uh, Rob has volunteered to work on a couple of things. Um, but that's not, <laughs> I mean, that's, you know, one one person and some, some bonus people, bonus time from Rob. Um, we do have a bunch of work already in there. Um, all of Neil's work on Wix standard BA that's already in. There are some bug fixes and other features that are that are already in. Um, and Blair's volunteering. Thank you. Um, my my plan is to put up a blog post uh, probably this weekend to kind of outline what I see left. Um, and where I've gotten so far. Um, part of triage is going through the bugs. We have triaged already the, the Visual Studio 2013 stuff. Uh, so that shows up in the V3.8 open uh, shortcut on the right of the issues list. Uh, so there are some items already laid out if people want to talk about claiming them and, and uh, doing some some preliminary work. Um, let's see. Uh, I do want to, you know, I want us to continue to triage uh, to talk about, uh, you know, what are, are there other issues that are important enough to include, even though they don't kind of meet this theme of Visual Studio 20, 2013 support. Um, so triage is still really important, uh, and we also have to keep on top of the incoming. Um, you know, as new bugs are reported, it's absolutely possible that we're going to run into something that is important enough to fit the release. Uh, I guess my <laughs> the main point, if you want to take one away, is we have a good chunk of work to do, and I'd like very much to kind of stick with what we've done before, which is as in a reasonable time frame after a new platform ships, again, Windows or Visual Studio, Wix is there. Um, so I'm going to push back hard during triage about bugs that come in. Uh, we've already taken bugs that, you know, are kind of like, yeah, we should do that. Mm, yeah, if you look at the calendar, yeah, we can't do that. I think 3.8, we need to be a lot more strict about what we take in. Um, there's always Wix 3.9 3 and, and future. So yeah, I'm not saying we're not going to do those kinds of uh, changes and bug fixes in the 3X series, but for 3.8, time's short. So we're going to focus on that. Um, and hey, look, we've got a second volunteer. Uh, so this is good. Uh, I will do that blog post um, and kind of talk about what uh, uh, the things I've already discovered. I've done a little tiny bit of the work, um, but not not nearly enough. So I will I will document what I've done and and uh, we can talk about uh, how we get there. All right, thanks, Bob. So. I think what you heard there is a, a call to action that if we want to try to nail the 
Automotive 2013 stuff, Bob's going to need help. Like he mentioned, I'm offering to do the work uh, to get the libraries running, uh, the util and such built on 2013, because that's mostly build goo, and I happen to be halfway decent at that. And I have a new machine coming in where I can put 2013 on it, so I'll actually be able to do all that. So I've offered to take the that stuff, but going into MPF and Votive Land, I know uh, less than Bob does probably, uh, given that I never worked on the Visual Studio SDK team. And um, so I think that's probably the area we have most, as you've heard. So uh, moving on, uh, we're going to go to questions, because that's what's next. So there are a couple in here. Um, one, Blair made a comment about the three months of free hosting gives us the Azure thing. Turns out we're prepaid for another, you know, nine months or something like that. So I think this took us into well into next year of the hosting payment. So um, I'm not in a hurry to to move unless we have another outage. And to be fair, this was the first outage I've ever had with these guys. They've been pretty good. So my hope is that they stay up. Um, Jacob's next thing was about uh, closing issues um, and what the status is for closed issues. Or And I'd say it's actually, what do we put down for resolved? So when you resolve a bug, what do you put in there? Um, it is a freeform text box, which is nice in that we can put things that we didn't think of. It's just a little harder sometimes if you want to pick what's already been done. Um, I think, Bob, what we've done in the past is when a bug is fixed, we just call it fixed, right? All lowercase and then hit save, right? Yeah, I think I think fixed is a good one. I mean, we can, we can basically, I think, borrow what we did on SourceForge. Okay, so we probably should go write those down somewhere so people have a list. Um, I know we used to use external for not our fault kind of bugs. Um, and Chris, the nice thing with a freeform text box is that now we can say not our fault. <laughs> we could. <laughs> it's a little bit long. Um, so anyway, Jacob, I think the answer is because you fixed those bugs, uh, the bugs are hopefully assigned to you. If not, if they're assigned to no one, you can just go click and take them. Um, Good. So if they're already assigned to you, then go ahead and um, go to the uh, edit or or the add comment. I either one should work, and you should see the option then to give it a resolved status. If not, worst comes to worst, if that doesn't work for you in the next five minutes or whatever, let's bring it up in triage, and we'll uh, go ahead and uh, do that for you. Yeah. So there's there is a status for closed. The issue tracker currently isn't marking anything closed um, because I have a plan for how I want closed to work right now. They're all getting marked resolved, which is good enough for us right now. It says that we think they're fixed. They may not have been verified closed, as in they definitely are fixed, but we at least think they're fixed, and that's good enough uh, for us for right now. All right. Are there any other questions about where we're at right now uh, with 3.8, things like that? My hope is that with Bob's latest blog posting in his um, soliloquy there, we now have a decent understanding of what we need to do for 3.8. Unless people disagree, we can have that discussion here on Wix devs later if, if um, desired. But hopefully we have an idea of what we're doing with 3.8, which means um, next time, next time maybe, um, I'll spend a little time to talk about some of the things that I see on the road for uh, Wix 4. But I may hold off on that, and we'll just go use all our time for triage. So any other issues? Any other things people want to talk about? If not, going, going, gone. All right, um, I'm going to stop the recording here, and we'll pick up because triage is next.